Okay, now I have a good excuse to talk really fast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna talk a little bit about Elm. My name is Teresa, by the way. Uh, it's a functional um, programming language for the browser uh, and has types and a uh, compiler and syntax and um, yeah, <laughs> performance. It's great. I'm gonna talk about all these things. And it has a really great architecture and documentation. Uh, and first of all, it has a static type system. Did I say that this, com the, this compiles to JavaScript, by the way? Um, and it has a static type system, which means that the compiler knows that uh, all the types that the, when it compiles, and it can look through all these things. And it uses type inference, like the, what you talked about, uh, what was talked about in the flow uh, talk earlier. And that means that you don't have to, uh, like, uh, uh, describe every single type. Uh, whenever you describe a, or declare a variable, um, but you can just use a, you can just put a signature on your function and describe what types you want uh, for inputs and what you want for an output. And this is sort of the fund, um, the fundament for ruling out runtime errors because you can, you always know how data flows through your application, and. This is what the compiler helps you do. And there's some really good uh, um, uh, run, uh, errors, error messages for it. And thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo, hero. Um, and it's just not me who thinks so. It's actually other people also. Woo. So it's really great. Um, they're really nice and they're very precise and they're super friendly. and. It's just a pleasure to work with because like, you can't keep everything in your head, so it's really nice with a system, a uh, type system, who actually tells you, okay, uh, you're putting something else over here that is not supposed to be there, and so you'll never get like undefined is not a function kind of thing, which is awesome because that comes up all the time usually. Um, I personally love the syntax. Like, it has this really great thing that's called piping. You probably cannot see that at all, so I'm gonna skip that part. <laughs> Uh, so, <laughs> whatever. Um, performance, it's super fast. I saw a benchmark that said it was faster than React, but uh, I'm not gonna say that out loud over here because you're the wrong crowd to say that to. Uh, I'll leave the details and look it up for yourself. Um, they have a package manager and they uh, enforce automatic semantic versioning. And whenever you upgrade your packages, uh, it will tell you if there's breaking changes in it, which is really nice. And Okay, next I'm gonna talk a little about the Elm architecture, which is uh, it's basically, in reactive terms, you start with a model, which is basically the state, okay, so, and then you put it in a view, and then this view, whenever you interact with it, for example, click or whatever, then it sends a message, um, and then it goes into the update function, which produces a new model, and then the circle is complete, basically, and yeah, you might recognize this. It looks a little bit like Redux, except uh, the update function is called the uh, reducer and the message is uh, action. And it's because uh, Redux was inspired by Elm, actually. And, um, but like, what about like, if you have a HTTP request? No problem, because uh, you have something that's called commands, uh, which you can, it's basically what the name like, suggests, is that if you send a command, say, okay, I would like this HTTP request to be sent, and then Elm goes down and does it, and then it comes back with a message that the update function also can handle, and then it does that, and then it produces a new model based on whatever you got back from the HTTP request. Um, so yeah, I think it's very simple and very nice, and uh, the last thing in the architecture is called uh, subscriptions, which is everything that you don't want like to go and fetch yourself, like say, to say, um, it's just some, whenever you want someone to go, okay, I got new data for you, please react on it. And it does the same thing, it sends a new message and has the update function handle it, and then it creates a new model, and then you fix it again. Like, and it's always up to date, it's immutable, and it's all by nature, because it's like the natural way of doing things in this language, and it was like, uh, what uh, Lee Bryan also said about immutability in other languages, you cannot have like mutable data here, it will always be clean. So that's really nice. Now I can't tell you all about this. Uh, that's why there's a really great documentation. It's amazing. Um,
just like, uh, I think it was you, Christopher, actually, who said that, about like examples, learning by examples. And they have a really good like platform for that. Like, um, they have a lot of examples. They're all interactive. You don't have to download anything just to go in and try it. And super nice. And they really focus on make it easy for like newcomers to go in and learn it. And it takes no more than a few hours. Um, and I think it's worth a try. Um, so basically, yeah, that's some facts about Elm. But what I really want to talk about is how it's going to change like your experience when you're developing. And I think when I mean we're trying to do a lot of things with JavaScript, we're trying to make it like more functional and add a type system to it and anything. But you don't really like you don't commit to the idea. You can always like in JavaScript you can make pure functions, but you can also go in there and sneak in like you know. If, do a command in there that just fire missiles or something. Uh, no one's going to stop you. And I think either you can do that if you're under pressure, or you can do it because you just don't know what you're doing and you make a mistake. Uh, and that's, that's fine. But uh, I think it's, it's nice to have a compiler, for example, that actually tells you that like, you did something wrong. Please fix it. And so you, you will make sure that uh, you're always like follow the good uh, rules that you have set for yourself. And that's what Elm gives you. It gives you all the things that you know are good for you, like the free Redux and immutable JS and, oh, and type, uh, type flow or flow type. Uh, and and but it gives you it with a compiler who actually tells you what is wrong and with a syntax that is crafted to express this idea, which is, uh, which is really great. And uh, yeah, I think you should try it out. Uh, my name is Tresca, and I work on this open source uh, UI library for Elm. So you can check that out if you want to and contribute. Uh, and I love Elm. And if you want to talk about it or learn more, then I'm by no means an expert, but I really like the idea. And you should come talk to me about it. Well, thanks. <laughs>